Utah really in the grips of a record-breaking drought, worst in decades, every drop of water counts. And so all this week, KSL consumer investigator Matt Gebhardt has been looking into the little things that we can all do to cut back on water use. So Matt, last we saw you were in your bathtub. <laughs> Clothes on, fully clothed. I uh, remain in my bathtub. Easiest assignment, easiest crew call I've ever had, Lori. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so like you said, all week we're kind of looking at the little things we can do. We all know that overwatering our lawns is a major culprit, but we're trying to look at those other little things we do uh, in our lives. And may maybe when we start adding it up, do a little investigative math, see just how much water we actually use. And this morning, we're taking a look at the age old debate, showers versus baths, which use more water. And if every Utah switched, just how much water could we save? Let's see. Nothing soothes after a long, hard day more than a nice, warm bath. A little salt, a little oil, maybe some bubbles and candles, and if you're lucky, a ducky. But just how much water does bathing really use? Let's do some math. The KSL investigators hit a couple of hardware stores and found that most tubs for sale boast a 42-gallon capacity. And according to watercalculator.org, after a couple of warm-ups, the average bath uses between 35 and 50 gallons of water. How does that compare to taking a shower? Well, according to the CDC, the average shower is eight minutes long. Now, most shower heads that we found boast an output of 2.5 gallons per minute. So, the average shower, about 20 gallons of water down the drain. 20 gallons to shower versus 35 to 50 to bathe. Put it another way, you'll save between 15 and 30 gallons of water every time you opt to take a shower over a bath. Not bad if you can live without the bubbles and the ducky. You know, Monday on KSL 5 News at 10, we took a look at how much water is saved by using a low flow shower head. Oh, that's leaking. <clears throat> a low flow shower head over a uh, regular shower head. We found it's about six gallons every single time you take a shower, which if every single person in Utah took one shower a day, that's more than 19 million gallons of water every single day by using a low flow shower head. Hey, if you have an idea for a way to save water and you'd like us to put a little investigative math to it to see just how much water could be saved, let us know about it. The number, 385-707-6153, or you can email me, matt, at ksl.com. All right, just don't get wet, all right? Thanks, Matt.